So, what shall we talk about today? Should we talk about how I'm a Gemini? You know what that means. Tell me what that means. Or that I am part man, part machine. Oh, that is much. I am like Darth Vader. Am I Darth Vader? Nah, man. We're here to talk about games. Mash Mikey Gaming. G'day, guys. I'm Mad Mikey. I'm from the Land Down Under, and today's show is Getting to Know Mad Mikey Mondays. The show where I just briefly touch on what's got been going on in the last week. And at the moment, we're doing a current series, which is called Why I Love a certain console so we'll get to that in a moment but guys don't forget if you like what you see give us a thumbs up i know you got two i only want one so make sure you hit that thumb button and don't forget to tell your mother tell your father to your sister to your brother tell your cousins tell your friends about mad mikey gaming because they might like gaming too over the last week um not much has really been going on uh, been playing a bit of Overwatch. Uh, obviously, Neo came out this week, so I've actually been really getting into that and having a lot of fun. Uh, beat, but, blah, beat my first boss the other night, and it took probably about seven to eight times. Now, Bloodborne games, things like that, um, your Dark Souls, your Demon Souls, I'm terrible at. Uh, my friends really pushed me to get into Bloodborne, which I have. I've gotten through a few bosses there. So, Neo, I don't know. I, I'm actually really, really enjoying Neo for some strange reason. And it's... I can't explain why. Uh, I, don't get me wrong. I, I enjoy Bloodborne, but that just stresses the hell out of me. And just over the weekend, was playing a bit of the For, For Honor beta, open beta. Actually, that game surprised me. And I don't normally get surprised. Like... One of my friends, who's been a follower of this of my channel since the very beginning, he has been hyping this game up, something shocking. And I've just been, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, I mean, he loves all, all your Vikings and, and just your brutal gaming and things like that, that, that needs strategy and stuff that really isn't my cup of tea. Uh, so he... He said to me, look, just try it. Because he's gone out. He's pre-ordered the big fuck-off edition uh, where you get all the DLC. He, he actually bought it digitally so he could take the day off and just start playing it tonight. It's going to be tonight at, at 12.01. So best of luck to you, George. I hope you enjoy it. But what I really loved about it was the fact that it there's, you've got the one-on-one. -on -one. And now, if you don't know me, which is probably why you're watching this, it's because... Back in the day when I used to play Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast, uh, it obviously had a multiplayer uh, component to it. And I absolutely love that multiplayer. That's the first multiplayer game that I really got into. Uh, and I was part of a clan. I was actually part of the Jedi Council on this clan. And <laughs> what would happen was, I mean, obviously you got your mayhem of your multiplayer maps, but people were gentlemen. And ladies in this bloody world that we created of clans of Jedi and Sith and whatnot. And you, if you, you'd, you'd be like, hey, you want to go sort of thing? Do you want to duel? And then they'd be like, yep, yep, yep. So then you'd press the crouch button and it would look like you're bowing. And after you've both bowed, that's when you're both ready. You whip your lightsabers out and you go toe to toe. And that's what that's the fun that I really had with For Honor with the one on one. I played this one dude, and the first I won the first lot uh, three to three to two, and it was just back and forth, back and forth. Then he won the next one three to two, and we're like okay, we'll do one more round uh, to to make a winner. And again, it went to best of five, uh, which it is of, and he beat me. But I loved it. And then there was Domination, which is like Capture the Flag. I really enjoyed that. Uh, so I'm pretty sold on uh, For Honor now for some strange reason. But guys, uh, you've got till tonight as well to keep playing, trying to play the beta. I believe it's uh, the end of Sunday in America. So we should have a couple of hours left. So 
maybe you'll get to see this and then quickly run it was probably about a 30 to 40 gig download but well worth it i had a lot of fun with it there's actually even a mortal Kombat uh easter egg in the back of one of the maps you can actually see like uh, a br- uh, a bridge like the where you used to fight you know where you do the uppercut and then they go down to the to the bottom you can see two people just sort of standing like that oh if i go like that then it looks like yeah i'm fighting myself aren't i yeah come on bro <laughs> um and one of them's on fire obviously representing scorpion and who knows what the other one is but i thought that was really clever um vg247 actually picked up on that i've, I've put it on my instagram and it, it's really cool i love the fact that they did it and just the simplicity of you've got three little areas to actually sort of just defend but it gets hectic as hell when you got more than one on you but onto the series of why i love now last week we did xbox uh the feedback that i got from that was that uh they do like this new area that i'm doing this in it's just our walk-in wardrobe uh the lighting is fantastic in here much better than uh my other room so and, and it's a bit more personal between you guys so the the one complaint was that there was really nothing gaming in here so bought a couple of my boys cole and drake uh so it's no surprise that this week I'm going to tell you why I love the Sony PlayStation consoles. Now, in the famous words of Nico Bellic, I've killed PlayStations. Smuggled PlayStations. Maybe now things will be different. I know there's a missing bit. God damn it. Uh, But I... The PlayStation 1, uh, not this one, but, you know, the old fat one. Um, I should have brought that one in. Uh, this one's just got a bit of a story behind it. Um, the I, I, was, I started off doing a laboring job, like pellet and racking office, office shelving and things like that. And I used to get paid cash in hand every day. I was just sort of fresh out of school. And I was working with a neighbor and they wanted a bit of young blood around to start pick on and, you know, do all the shitty work. So I was getting paid a hundred dollars cash in hand a day. So I was, getting, I was just here you go, Michael. Here you go, Michael. At the end of the day, and at the end of the and like when I was at a friend's house party, they were playing a PlayStation with Tony Hawk, and I'm like, oh my god, this is amazing. This is like nothing you've seen before. Obviously, I had just been coming off of the Sega Mega Drive Two or Sega. There's <laughs> another one of the watches sort of picked up uh, saying that Australians are the only one who call it Sega, not Sega. And I was just like, oh my God, I've, I've got a job now. I can go out and get a credit card. I'm just like, okay, I'm going to go get a $500 credit card. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to cut up the credit card and never use it again and just pay it back off. Uh, but that never happened. I, I don't know why. I think it was just that we were very drunk and I was just talking shit as you'll find that I do talk a lot of. And I was working at this job. I'm like, okay, now I'm going to get a PlayStation because all my friends started having them. A lot of my friends just had it. I don't know if it was drugs, but they love just putting music CDs in and watching the the spirals and things like that. So, I mean, that was pretty cool. Like, you go back drunk. We didn't actually used to play the games or anything. We just used to watch it. I was like, whoa, man. Uh, But it came to the time. I'm like, okay, it's time that I'm going to buy a PlayStation. So I saved up my pennies. I thought that it was only about three hundred dollars, and I went to a store, and they're like, "No, nah, it's four hundred dollars." So, I'm like, shit, man, I gotta go another day without cigarettes and um, save up. So, one more day, I picked it up, but I didn't have any games or any money. So I'm like, okay, I can turn it on. I can play the music and watch the trippy stuff and whatnot. So, but then the next day, a friend dropped me off at um, what was it, Toys R Us, and. I kid you not, and this is a literal thing that happened for th- for a month. I bought a game a month. I because there may have been a chick that I was trying to pick up at that store, but I just kept buying games. I bought everything. Like I bought Resident Evil. That's how I got interested in. Uh, I got more into it. I bought Metal Gear Solid. That was the first single player game that I ever got into. Um, I even bought Spice World because I thought that there was a nude code where you could get the Spice Girls to be naked. That was the stuff that used to go around in this whole new brand new world of the internet. And um, yeah, I just bought a lot of crap. I had um, Tomb Raider. I 
bought a lot of sports games as you guys know i've like a lot of sports games anyway so that affair stopped there and i ended up getting the girl so don't worry about that guys because i know that you were obviously worried about my love life back in that day um and yeah i just loved the playstation and that's that that's when i started being independent and getting into video games because before then it was like your parents would buy it for you and and you know sort of you'd you'd get a game every now and then if you're a good boy Uh, but the story about this one uh is that this was given to me by a friend who worked at a prison He's like, do you want a PlayStation? I'm like, hell yeah, I want a PlayStation. He goes, we've got one of the, the PS1s. And he's like, we'll give it to you for free because no one's using it. I'm like, sick. Um, so they gave it, he gave it to me and I'm pretty sure it starts up, but the, the disc doesn't spin. So I've got a inkling that some of the prisoners may have taken it for parts that may contribute to inking themselves. But the one sort of thing that I really hate about the play, the playstations were these bad boys. These would cost a friggin' arm and a leg just so that you could save your game. And that's something that, um, I loved about the Xbox, the fact that they put the hard drive in there. Obviously PlayStation ended up doing it, but this bad boy, I pretty much almost skipped. All my friends obviously love PlayStation. Um, I ended up getting the Xbox and the GameCube because all my friends had this. Um, But then one year I was really shifty for my birthday when I moved in here. And I called up my friends. I'm like, oh, you can get secondhand PlayStations for like $80 to $100. Like, can you organize for all the boys to sort of put in and we'll get some games sort of go from there? Like, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Because the missus didn't like me having multiple consoles for some weird reason. Like, I I understood because that would mean that I'd be spending more on games and everything. So, I ended up getting one of these. Uh, My friends got me Shadow of the Colossus um, and Final Fantasy X and X-2. And because those were games that I'd never played. And that's why I I wanted it. Like, I'd I'd had the... I think I even had the 360 at that stage. But I'd never had the chance to play a lot of those old awesome classic games and bully and funnily enough the sopranos was one of the selling points uh i love the sopranos and the game was on there and it wasn't on the xbox so i was like yes i'm gonna get it and i only probably held on to it for roughly six months because obviously xbox 360 and everything was coming out and then when i got the the ps3 i'd actually bought the wii first and I just got over the Wii and I'm like, nah, I want some power. And I started checking out a lot of the games are on the PlayStation 3 and Drake was a big, big selling point. Drake and Heavenly Sword were the big thing. So I traded in my Wii and all the games and I ended up only having to pay an extra 50 bucks because that because the Wii was in such high demand. And I got the 80 gig uh, piano one. I've, I've now got the 500 gig one. I sold the piano one just because... I wasn't really into my collecting at that point, but now I wish I hadn't, but I sold it to another protege who is still going to start collecting. Uh, and the PlayStation 3, I mean, what can you say about that? Um, I think they dropped the ball on the PlayStation 3. Like, don't get me wrong, you had your fantastic games. Like, exclusive PlayStation 3 games were fantastic. Uh, Uncharted, um, Infamous... Those were the games that I really loved, uh, Blood Siren, and that there's a lot to mention because it, I mean, the PlayStation Two and PlayStation Three have been some of the classic consoles of all time. But I didn't like the fact on the PlayStation Three that the the day one patches took so bl- bloody long because it was the Blu-ray, uh, and the Xbox was still running off of DVD, but it was only like a two to three meg install. Uh, so that that deterred me a bit from the PlayStation, but I did buy buy it for its ex, ex, uh, I did buy it for its exclusives, The Last of Us, everything that they've just put out a lot of modern classics on that system, and that's obviously rolled onto the PlayStation Four. Which, again, if I've got, I used to really be preferential to Xbox over uh, the multi plat games on between PlayStation and Xbox, just basically because of my experience with the PlayStation uh, 3 and the Xbox 360. 
But now with the PlayStation 4 um, Pro out and the Pro sort of settings and things, I'm actually sort of leaning back to PlayStation. Um, as I said, I don't want this to be a flame war or a console war or anything. I'm just explaining to you what I love about the PlayStation, what I love about Xbox, and soon we'll sort of talk about the, the Nintendo, or maybe Sega. We'll see how we go. But um, I'm loving the PlayStation 4 Pro at the moment. Um, I did have a few issues with my launch PlayStation 4, just where it would eject the disc out of nowhere and then it wouldn't take it back in, so you'd have to unplug it from the back. Um, and wait about 10 to 15 seconds and then replug it and then it would be like, oh, you did a naughty thing, you shouldn't do that. But then it would actually work, so you know what? I didn't really mind about that. I've, I've had no complaints about the PlayStation 4 Pro. And now they're, at, they're actually bringing out uh, external hard, external, um, external hard drive support uh, in their next update, so that's going to be really amazing. I'm really looking forward to that because that's what the Xbox has been doing so well compared to the PlayStation in terms of offering up uh, alternatives for hard drive. But guys, I hope you really enjoyed this show and I'd love to know what your memories and what you love about the PlayStation because I know there's a lot of you out there that love your PlayStations. It's not the best selling consoles of all time for no reason. I mean, it is really, I think, catching up with the Nintendo. Guys, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, next week, as I said, might surprise you when we talk about Sega, Sega, or we might talk about uh, the Wii of Nintendo because I want to do this in the lead up to the, the Nintendo Switch coming up. So guys, uh, please give us a thumbs up if you like it. And I will see you guys tomorrow for a day in this game's life. Bye guys.